A happy go lucky, carefree person. A sodomite is not happy go lucky. A lesbian is not happy go lucky. Those people carry a mental weight that you have no idea what they are dealing with. Anytime a man could go to a park to expose himself. And you mean to tell me that person is saved? You trying to make an excuse for a mentality like that? I'm talking about a subhuman. Anytime you leave God, you create a subhuman, uh, a subhuman entity. And that subhuman spirit can get inside you and cause you to do a whole lot of things that you normally would not do. But when you allow the subhuman character to take over, it's called demon possession. When you allow demon spirit to possess you, It'll make you expose yourself in a public park. It'll make you slip off to a motel with another man. Mm -hmm. It'll make a woman go to bed with another woman and hope that uh, the, 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 the dirty cell battery don't give out. Amen. I'm trying to tell you what a demon-possessed person will do. You can't bring that into the church of God and call it normal. Amen. Pastors out there, why won't you stand up and defend the Bible if you claim that you are a preacher of God? All right. Teach, brother. The men leaving the natural use of the woman. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is Now it already them. said to dishonor their body between themselves. Why you can't see this connection? How does the blood of Jesus cover this? Let's go right now. And, and, no, I, I got to get to uh, uh, verse 31. Without understanding. Without understanding. Now we're, now we're identifying lesbian behavior and sodomy behavior. Now it says here, uh, without understanding, covenant breakers. You broke a covenant. A covenant is a contract. When yeah. God died at Calvary, He washed away your Adamic sins. Now once you have been water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and uh, received the indwelling of His Spirit, now when you violate that covenant agreement, that makes you a covenant breaker. Without understanding, oh, anytime, anytime you disobey God and commit a willful act of sin, you surely don't have understanding. Amen. Amen. Covenant breakers without what? Without natural affection. Mm. Implacable, unmerciful. You don't have no mercy. Amen. You do anything this anything that false spirit will tell you to do. Even in a public place. Go to a truck stop. And look for men in a bathroom as this senator did a few years ago. Uh -huh. yes. And then he gets up and says he's not no side of my gay man. Yeah. His wife right by his side with a foolish living self. Yeah. Just like these foolish women today married to sodomites. That's right, Father. And I say to you, sister, you need to get saved. Yeah. You need to get the Holy Ghost. The Bible does not require a woman to stay with a sodomite husband. Amen. Now I didn't say you could get divorced. Don't don't take don't take me out of context. I'm saying you don't have to stay with him. Amen. You don't have to stay with no man to take a baseball bat and beat you upside the head every night. Amen. You don't have to stay with no man who wants to sleep with young boys. Amen. What what is wrong with you? Even if you if you have children for their children's sake. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody got to have some backbone. If he don't, you ought to stand up. Yeah. Praise God. Now you got to go in the same church and there look people in the face. I have me a little bit more backbone than that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now if you go to that church, I'm going to First of all, there's something wrong with that church. Yeah. I'm going to find me a little sanctified Holy Ghost filled church. Don't have but a few members, but that's where I'm going. Because I need my soul saved. I need something lifted off of me. I need an uncleanliness that I've been dealing with. I got to have that eradicated from me. Take it away from me. So that I can walk up right before the Lord. There's a judgment day. Amen. Hallelujah. This earthly journey don't mean two cents. Except what we do for God. There is a judgment day coming. And I hope all these hypocrite pastors who have Exploited and profane the holy church of God with all your all your filthiness. I hope you can understand me tonight. There is, and to that bishop 
who wants to criticize me, there's a judgment day coming. Yes. Amen. I don't care how you defend Eddie Long, how you try to twist around, you're defending him. Shame on you. Amen. What kind of man are you? <laughs> Dare call yourself a preacher and a bishop, and you want to defend a, 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 a sodomite. Someone who will abuse young boys. That's the same as those preachers that were trying to defend Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I don't have no respect for Michael Jackson, and I don't have no respect for a preacher who would defend him. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much money you got. It's a funny thing. Most of these side of my get in trouble. They always got a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. A whole lot of money. And I said last week, and I'll say it again, Eddie Long would never go to court. Never. Anytime a man got enough money to have beer jets and all that, you think that he can't get a clever lawyer, and that clever lawyer talks to some other clever lawyer, and then they get together in a little room and they start writing down figures and get on that uh, calculator and say, mm, no, 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 mm, uh huh, we got our part, and he got his part. Case seven. Yep. Amen. What about the trial? Oh, no, there ain't no trial. What happened? Too much money. Yeah. Whose money? Foolish. Tired paying members who go to that church. Amen. You are foolish. And if you stay there, praise God for you. No, I'm not going to pray for you. Amen. I want to drop down to verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Now the subject text is sodomy and lesbian behavior. And I hope T.D. Jakes can hear this. It says, Knowing the judgment of God, uh -huh. that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Now, we're talking about unrepentant. And any time a lesbian or a sodomite says, I'm this way because God made me this way, and God loves me the way I am, that's unrepentant. And without repentance, there's no remission of sins. Without repentance, remission means forgiveness. If you don't repent and confess, there is no remission for sins. Amen. Knowing the judgment of God that they which do which commit such things are worthy of death. Are worthy of what? Death. What happened to grace? Amen. What happened to the blood of Jesus? Yes. Uh, yeah, start twisting scriptures. Go, go, on, go on and try to cross reference this out. <laughs> Knowing the judgment of God. Now we're talking about the final conclusion. We're talking about the judgment. We're talking about an unrepentant sin. And you know he won't repent. No. You can bet me on that. Amen. Why? They don't believe in the Bible. If they did, there's certain things they would not do without repentance. And I said before, anybody can mess up. Anybody can make a mistake. But when you do, and it's pointed out, you do the same thing David did. I'm sorry. Amen. God forgive me. Hallelujah. But when you stick your chest out and, and oh well, God made me this way, and God knows I'm this way, and I'm this way because God made me that way, you're trying to bring another gospel that God's apostles and prophets never brought. They didn't do such things. Are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. In other words, you staying in the church where sodomy has been proven by two or more witnesses Amen. over a continued existence of time. And we're talking about a continued sin, not a sin. We're talking about continuing in sin. Paul said, shall we continue in sin because of grace? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Amen. You can't live a life of sin once you've been washed, once you've been blood washed by T.D. Jakes, once the blood has covered you. You can't go back to that same sin and then think the same blood is covering you. Hebrews 10 26. Yes. Those who go along with the program, you don't have to be a sodomite or a lesbian, but if you go along with it and you don't want to condemn it, you just want to go along, you just, well, pray, I'll just pray for them. No, you just as guilty as they are. Amen. The Bible says you are worthy of the same death. Amen. Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. 
if we sin willfully, after 